Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a surprise summoning event. All right, a 15 sacred shards for a withier for a guaranteed withier. Nobody saw it coming, but I mean, it's the first day of CVC. I think we just kind of know there gotta be some kind of summoning event happening, right? And uh, we're having a 2x sacreds this weekend. So it's a very sneaky move by Flareon. Uh, but in this video, I kind of want to share with you guys some of my opinion. Personally, I think this 15 sacred shards might be worth it, alright? Um, obviously, you need to have 15 sacreds. If you are at zero sacreds and you have to buy sacreds to pull with here, I wouldn't recommend it because, uh, because in one of my previous video uh, about spending, like, I personally suggest you guys to skip all sacred packs because sacred packs are just very shitty. Sacred shards is not worth $18. Uh, $18 is what Plarion values their sacred shards. Personally, I think sacred shards is like probably $13 for me. And uh, the reason I think this event might be worth it is um, let me actually pull up one image, show you guys this. So shout out to raidtips.com by Cosmos. I found this image from my clan discord. This image is pretty much very straightforward. Just directly com uh, comparing the this summoning event, Guarantee with Year, with the 2x sacreds we're having this weekend. We can see here uh, the percentage stuff, don't worry about it. So um, we can see the total epics expected and total lego expected from comparing two events in terms of 15 sacreds. They're exactly the same. You're expecting around 1.8, I would say 2 legendaries, alright? You're expecting 2 legendaries out of 15 sacred shards. Uh, during this uh, during this guarantee with your event or the 2x sacreds, the rate is exactly the same. But for this event, you're at least guarantee a great champion, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm not sure how many legendary champions are in this game currently. Let's assume we have like 120 legendary champion in this game. I would say with here the crown, she is top 30. So let's assume you pull, you also pull two legendaries from two X sacred shards from 15 shards. You could get both trash legendaries, right? At least in this event, you guarantee a top level of top level legendary, right? So in this video, I want to pull my 15 sacreds. Uh, so gonna be a quick shot pull video. After that, I want to showcase my Withier build and some arena fight because I already got a Withier and uh, this Withier is actually gonna be huge on my account because I only, uh, this is gonna be for my Demon Spawn Faction Guardians. I'm only at a 6 out of 10 right now. So it's gonna be huge. I'm definitely gonna pull this one. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's just get into the pulls. Alright, let's see this. 15 sacreds boys I know plenty of people just uh, pulled 15 sacreds and only got with here and it could happen right it could definitely happen come on allure good champion another epic spider nobody used this champion but probably a decent champion though another epic Lady Atisa, not sure about this champion though. Another epic. Alright, Geomancer is really nice. Alright, so six shards in. I've gotta pull nine more. Hopefully, get one Lego here. Alright, another epic. Let's keep it going. Another spider. I'll be happy if I get a fusion champion. Alright, pitless one. Come on. <laughs> Not looking good so far. Not looking good. I have five shots left. Actually, four shots left. Alright, who we got? Ooh, Brogni. It's my third Brogni. Um, I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna use him. Probably just empower my Brogni. Another Geomancer. I really hope we can empower epics. I, I think that's the last one, right? I right, two more actually. Alright, so here we are. 
I'm gonna get my width here for my 15th shard. Not bad, let me just put this champion into my faction guardians. Brogni is actually a top top tier champion. Right, so uh, let me show you guys my withier gear now. Um, I think a lot of people are saying that this champion is good in every area of the game. I think that's true, but usually if you're in end game, I don't think you're gonna need him. I uh, need her anywhere except arena, all right? A lot of people are saying she's amazing Hydra, but I feel like you don't need this type of healing Hydra to be honest. For Hydra, you can just use a regeneration set, you heal 15% per turn, I think that's gonna be enough. Or you just bring a, a leech debuff, it's gonna heal like crazy. Personally, I don't think she is gonna be that useful in Hydra unless you don't have enough champion, of course. So this is pretty much an arena build. A lot of you are struggling with um, untouchable set, sword parry set, or Star Wars set. I test a lot. I, I tested a lot of different builds with the champion, and the, the conclusion is, just gear her in whichever set you prefer. Even in broken set, it doesn't matter because when I gear her in a Star Wars set, everybody just attack me use Rodos. Like, why would I even gear her in Star Wars set, right? So I think the optimal build is um, is super high speed with super high resistance in untouchable set, but the gear requirement is insane. Basically, you need um. Let's say 300 speed, 750 resistance in an untouchable set. That's, that's, that's really, really difficult. The easy route is just this build. Throw in whichever set you prefer and gear her very fast and very high accuracy. Nothing else matters, just very fast and high HP. For the mastery, just go with um, timely intervention because nothing else really matters. I think for the all 12, tier 6 mastery, the only thing that she can benefit from is Tommy Intervention. Alright, so let's get into Arena and showcase her in some fight. Alright, so mainly you're gonna use her in Arena Defense, alright? You are not going to need her on your offense team at all. So uh, let me find my width here. I think I showcased it many times. Let me just bring in a super, super, super tanky team. Uh, Necrit and Ursuga. We can go in like this. All right, it's <laughs> it's kind of trolling. I don't want to make this video forever. Let's just go uh, bring in a Leoris. All right, let's just go like this. Let's put in full auto and see how this champion protects my team. They have a Tronda. They're gonna nuke my team. All right, I actually should set up my AI to. All right, she did the cleanse, that's good. <laughs> I'm not doing any damage. Anyways, you guys can see how this champion brings insane healing to the team, right? Let's just put on full auto. I'm not sure if I can kill them though. See that Trona A3 doesn't really hurt me. Look at that. Let's, let me target Duchess here. Super tanky team. <laughs> Maybe she is usable in offense. Look at that. Everybody in full HP again. Let's keep it going. All right, now it's just a matter of time. Speed on this champion is just very critical. I think the minimum speed requirement for this champion, if you want to use her in arena, is 250. Not slower than 250. You gotta build this champion fast. Because like Boomer said, one of the most important thing about this champion is her passive, which is um, continuous heal each turn on the ally with lowest HP. All right, now let me just uh. Alright, just get me out of here. Wow, this dude is so tanky. I don't have damage. <laughs> Finally, two minute fight. Alright, I guess you guys see the point. 
uh, check out my previous video called Literally Unkillable Team Setup, where I just put four super tanky champion and it's gonna take the enemy super long to kill. It's a very fun video. And yeah, that's basically it for the video. I think this champion is gonna be worth it, all right? At least you're guaranteed a top level champion in this game. Uh, but like, if you don't have, let's say you don't have 10 secrets, you have to purchase sacred shards to, to do this event, then I don't think it's gonna be worth it because I think all the sacred packs in this game are garbage. Clarion values their sacred shots way too high. And yeah, that's basic uh, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.